Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss stereochemistry of product of SN1 reaction. SN1 reaction is a two step process. In step 1, living group is eliminated and carbocation is formed. In step 2, weak nucleophile will approach this carbocation from either side to form the products. So from step 1, carbocation intermediate is formed which is sp2 hybridized having a pure p orbital in this case we have a tertiary carbocation and water as nucleophile so water can approach from below the plane as well as from above the plane as water is neutral in nature after addition of water the oxygen will become positive as oxygen is highly electronegative hydrogen will be eliminated as H plus and finally we have two products. These products are named by a retention product and inversion product. So what is retention product? If position of living group in alkyl halide and position of nucleophile in product are same, this is called as retention product. And if Position of living group in alkyl halide and position of nucleophile in final product are opposite to each other will be called as inversion product. Now the question is, is this a racemic mixture or this is a mixture of 2 enantiomer with different concentration. So if we take this diagram, water can approach from above the plane or from below the plane with equal probability that's why there is a chance of 50% retention product and 50% inversion product eventually it will become a racemic mixture but many of the experiments shows that percentage of inversion product is higher than percentage of retention product this can be explained by intimate ion pair theory in SN1 reaction polar protic solvent is used carbon halogen bond is polar covalent in nature. Hence, due to difference in electronegativity, there will be a del positive charge on carbon and del negative charge on halogen. Polar protic solvent will facilitate this charge separation and finally it will become R plus and X minus. This R plus and X minus is jointly solvated by solvent molecule and these ions are so close to each other that solvent molecules cannot be present in between them. These two ions are called intimate ion pair. With increase in time, charge density and effective attraction between R plus and X minus will decrease and solvent molecule will separate these ions and solvent separated ion pair is formed. After some time, more solvent molecule will enter between ions and and these ion will be completely dissociated. So here we have 3 degree alkyl halide as starting material and water as nucleophile. This diagram represents the intimate ion pair and this is the positive charge and this is the negative charge which are attracted by Coulombic force of attraction. Now if water want to approach this carbocation, it can easily approach from left side and inversion product can be formed. Why this is inversion product? Because water approach from the opposite side of chlorine. But water cannot approach from this right side because this side is shielded by chlorine. So this side is hindered in nature. With increase in time, we have solvent separated or completely separated carbocation and in this case water can approach from left side as well as from right side. That's why we have two products which is inversion product and retention product eventually it will give a racemic mixture. So if carbocation is highly stabilized it can easily form solvent separated or completely separated carbocation. So now we can safely say that the percentage of inversion product will be higher than the percentage of retention product in all SN1 reaction cases. So if we take this reaction as an example, 98% it will be a racemic mixture and 2% it 
is the inversion product concentration.